Congratulations on registering for Connect My Health, a patient portal to help empower your health journey. This video will explain how to log in to Connect My Health and set up your multi factor authentication. You should have received an email from the Connect My Health program office that includes instructions to activate your new Connect My Health account. You must activate your account within 10 calendar days of receiving your account activation email, as your supplied temporary password is only valid for 10 days. If you do not activate your account within 10 days, you will need to re register for a Connect My Health account. You only have to activate your account once, on one device, and there are five steps involved to do so. 1. Determine your preferred method for completing your authentication at each login, i.e., SMS text to your mobile phone or MFA authenticator app, which can be changed at any time. 2. Initiate first-time login to Connect My Health. 3. Create your own password. 4. Activate multi-factor authentication. 5. Complete your final identity verification once logged in to Connect My Health. Here are some tips to help with this one-time process. 1. The account activation process has a time limit, currently 15 minutes, therefore it's best to review these instructions first, familiarize yourself with the process, then begin. 2. Download the Authenticator application from your preferred app store onto your mobile phone or tablet first. This download should always be free. Do not pay for an Authenticator download. 3. Have your account activation email available to you in your phone or tablet's email inbox. Once you've completed this one-time account activation process, you do not have to download or complete the instructions for a second time. All you need for future logins to connect My Health is your phone or tablet, to obtain a fresh code from the Authenticator app you're about to download, your email address, and password you will create. Step 1. Download an Authenticator app onto your phone. On your phone, go to your preferred app store. Search Google Authenticator, then download it. Note, there are other Authenticator applications you may download, but Google Authenticator is recommended. As a reminder, you do not need to pay for an Authenticator. Google Authenticator may prompt you to log into your Gmail account, if you have one, but you do not need to in order to use this Authenticator. When prompted, just click Use Authenticator without an account. At this point, you are done with your Authenticator, but will return to it shortly. Step 2. Initiate first-time login to Connect My Health. On your mobile phone, go to the Connect My Health login page, connectmyhealth.ca on your internet browser. In the email address field, enter the username as identified to you in the account activation email. In the password field, enter the temporary password that was provided to you in the account activation email. Tip, passwords are case-sensitive and may contain letters, numbers and special characters. Be sure you enter the password exactly as was provided to you in the account activation email. Click Sign In. Step 3. Activate Multi-Factor Authentication. After changing your password, click Unable to Scan. Below the QR code. Select the code, sometimes called a setup key, that Connect My Health is providing to you, and copy it. Tip. Most phones and tablets will let you copy the code by tapping or pressing down on it, and then give you the option to paste it into the authenticator. Within Google Authenticator or other authenticator, click the associated Add button. When prompted, you want to select enter a setup key or equivalent in order to have an area to paste the long code Connect My Health is providing to you. Here is an example using Google Authenticator, but they all work in a similar fashion. Give your new account a nickname, paste the code you copied earlier from Connect My Health, then click Add or Equivalent. Look at your authenticator on your phone and copy, or type, the 6, or 8, digit code being displayed into Connect My Health. Tip, if typing the code in to connect My Health on your phone or tablet, do not include any spaces as shown in the example below, even if your authenticator is showing the code including a space. Give your device, your mobile phone or tablet, a nickname. Tip, if you need to have your authenticator reset, because you switched to a new phone for instance and your old phone or tablet where your original authenticator was installed is no longer available to you, email the Connect My Health program office at support at connectmyhealth.ca and we can assist after verifying your identity. Please do not include personal health information in email correspondence with our office. Click Submit. Step 4. Create your own password. Enter a password you'd like to use for Connect My Health as prompted, then click Submit. Password criteria, must contain at least 12 characters. Must contain at least one uppercase character. Must contain at least one lowercase character. Must contain at least one numeric digit. May contain special characters. 
must not be the same as any of your last five passwords, which is not applicable when setting up your password for the first time. Step 5. Review User Agreement and Complete Identity Verification At this point, you are logged in to Connect My Health on your computer, and you must verify your identity by entering your health card number, 10 digits, no spaces or dashes, and no version code which are the two letters after your health card number, and your date of birth, month, day, year. Then tap Continue. You have now successfully completed your one-time account activation. Each time you want to log in to Connect My Health from any kind of device, you will need your phone with you. You will be asked to enter your email address, username, the new password you created during this account activation, and the code that's being displayed at that time from your Authenticator app on your phone. The code changes every 30 seconds on most authenticators for security purposes, and as you become a more frequent user of Connect My Health, having to enter the second factor, the code, should become quite familiar. If this is your first time logging in to Connect My Health you will be presented with the user agreement. Please review the user agreement, and if you agree with the terms of use, click the I agree button to access your record. If you do not agree, and click I disagree, you will be logged out of Connect My Health. During your first session, you will be able to take the Connect My Health tour which includes short videos that provide an overview of how to use the portal. That tour is always available to you by clicking the menu in the top left corner. From here, and each time you log in to Connect My Health going forward, you will initially land on your new results page, where any new results that are available for you will display. Your other health records are available in the My Records section found at the bottom of your screen, on mobile devices. Once you are finished viewing your records on a mobile device, be sure to log out of the portal by clicking on the menu in the top left corner, then click Log Out. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about Connect My Health, please visit the information site at info.connectmyhealth.ca.